Hey, what's up, car shipping rock stars? It's your girl Ashley from Relogeek.com, and I wanted to make this video because the times that we are in right now, I get a lot of questions from students and past students and people who just follow me on YouTube asking me, Ashley, is now the right time to start your brokering business? Is now the right time to even be operating as a brokering business? Let me start by saying this. What I'm gonna tell you in today's video is based on my personal feelings. It's based on me as a person and what I would do if I was in your position right now and today. It is not me telling you that is what you should do because the worst thing that could ever happen is that you do it and then it doesn't work out for you for whatever reason and then you hate me for it. But before I get into what I personally would do, let me just tell you this. In the past week alone, I've gotten three requests to move people's cars. Now, most of you guys know I used to be a broker. Obviously, I'm not a broker anymore. I built an amazing business based off of referrals. I built an amazing business based off of, I should say amazing brand. I built a brand based off of who I am as a person. So people didn't buy into Relo Geek because it was some faceless company. They bought into Relo Geek because it was me. It was Ashley. And so to this day, because of all the work that I've put in, I get tons and tons of requests. Sometimes they're in bulk. I'll get like 10 in a month. And sometimes it'll be sporadic, one here, one there. But people continuously want me to either A, move their car for them, which I tell them I can't, or B, refer them to somebody that I know can. And in the past three weeks alone, I, I mean, in the past three weeks, in the past week alone, I have gotten a request from three different people. So people are still looking to ship their cars, if you didn't understand what I'm trying to say. People are still shipping their vehicles. <sighs> Now, the question to whether or not there's carriers available or all that stuff, let me just say this. If that is your concern, you have to be, and I teach this in Real Academy, and I've talked about this on this channel, just be upfront. Being successful as a broker is predicated on doing three key things. So pay attention. One, managing expectations. And actually, it doesn't go in this order. Two, educating your clients, and three, creating unexpected smiles. Usually I say it in the order of educating your clients, you know, um, managing expectations, and then creating unexpected smiles. If you do those three things, you will see success as a broker, amongst many other things. But that's the key to converting leads. That's the key to everything. With that being said, these people are looking to ship their cars, and your job as a broker is to be honest with them hey, I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know the state of the industry. I don't know anything. But what I can tell you is I'm gonna try my best to get your car moved as soon as possible. It's as simple as that, guys. I made the most sales, the most conversions because I was just upfront and honest, you know, with no agenda. Like, I don't have an agenda. I just told it how it was. I ex told them about based on my experience. And I teach you all about that, obviously, like I said in my course, Relo Academy. Um, I'll leave the link below just in case you decide to join the program and learn how to truly be a great broker, not just in today's time, just in general. So that's for those of you that worry, are there clients, are there clients still shipping their car? Or what do I do if I get a client and then I can't move their vehicle? So that will hopefully answer that concern. So what would I do? Would I start my business if I was starting today? Yes, I would. And here's why. I would start my business only because when things do pick back up or when things change, and I don't want to use the word normal. I'm so tired of hearing that word. But when things change, you don't want to be in the position of scrambling to figure out how do I start the business? How do I build a brand? How do I do this and capitalize on the massive, massive amounts of people who said, I'm not going to ship my car right now. I'm going to wait. Just imagine that. It's kind of like the grocery store. You go to the grocery store and it's like 
oh my goodness, it's like massive amounts of people. So just imagine when all of these things change, you want to be in a position that you're not scrambling. You want to have that advantage. And so if it was me, I personally would do all that I can right now. I'm not telling you to physically start your business if that's not where you're comfortable at, because I totally get it. But I would be building my website. I'd be learning all that I can about the industry I'm trying to get into. I'd be talking to people, getting my name out there, putting out content, just making sure that everybody knew that Ashley is the broker you call when you want to ship your car or if you're whatever niche you're in. We talked about this, like the importance of choosing a market and why I chose a market and how it blew up my business. I didn't care about the guy that was shipping cars locally. I didn't care about the guy that was doing military auto shipping. I didn't care about the guy that's doing um, enclosed auto shipping. I had my specific market and I market the heck out of that. I became known for that one thing. So anybody that was doing that needed that one type of service they knew to call ashley all everybody knew to refer me as ashley Relo Geek, the person that does xyz so i don't want to talk about the importance of that right now but during this time you can be choosing your market and being known for that thing no matter what that thing is and when things change and the masses jump to shipping their car and looking for this person that person you the person the smart one because you're smart because you're listening to this so i know you're smart are going to be the first person that they call they're going to remember you and that's what i would do i would take advantage and yes i'm going to use the word take advantage and i'm not going to apologize for it i would take advantage of the time that we're in now to build my business the right way and that's what i want for you i want you to be in that position and like I said, that takes many forms. You can actually physically start your business. I probably would just because it's tenure, right? Even though things aren't moving right now or as things aren't moving as bulk or as you like as you're used to it moving, you're building time under your license, whichever way you want to look at it. So if you could financially do that, then do that. But I definitely be consuming all that I can right now. I'd be building my website even before I have a business. I'd be thinking of my business name. You don't want to be doing these things when everything goes back to to being, you know, fully functioning, I guess would be a good word. You want to put yourself in the position to already be there. And I feel like I'm beating a dead horse right now, but I just wanted to have a little heart to heart. It's been a while. I actually recorded it as a podcast and I said, no, as you can hear, my babies are screaming in the background, so I don't know what they're doing, but I was going to record it as a podcast and I said, no, I want to have a communication face to face with you. I want you to see and feel what I'm saying. I want you to understand that I am telling you this um, because it's my truth. That is how I would respond. Again, it's totally up to you what you choose to do. And I know you guys like me to stick straight to the point, so I won't drag this out any longer than I must. Um, but no matter what you choose to do, I'm rooting for you. I know you're going to do an amazing job. Keep those things in mind when you're running your business, whether it's a bro, maybe brokering is not even for you. And, you know, that's okay. That is okay. And if you're watching this video and you've never, ever heard of brokering, I'm going to leave a link to my crash course below because that course was created for specifically for you to figure out who the players are, you know, um, how brokers get paid, how they find car haulers, like how do you, like all those little tiny questions um, that you may have about, you know, becoming a broker. All of those things are going to be answered um, in that crash course. Um, so I would, like I said, I'll leave it below. Um, but other things like, um, the top seven must have tools. I talk about systems in that crash course. I talk about finding clients. I talk about why you need to engage and not persuade people. I talk about finding carriers and how you do that. I, I even go over overcoming objections. Um, I talk about why you need to be expanding your network right now. And, so it's a 10 module course. It's totally independent of Relo Academy. It's not gonna tell you how to start and run your business like Relo Academy does, that's totally different. But it will teach you, it will open your eyes to the industry. So if those are the type of questions you have, I'll also leave that in the link below. I don't want you to be scared. I don't want you to be scared right now um, as far as starting your business. I want you to be in the best position possible. And so 
That is my advice. That's basically how I would handle it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Share with people that you know. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and podcasts just like this one. I'm Ashley from Realgeek.com. Now get out there and make moves happen. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay safe, my friends. Stay safe.